Good morning friends, Mr. Lochan here at Medical Scientific. How are you all doing today? Today I'm at the lab here and I wanted to show you quickly a little uh, bit of important information I believe that can benefit um, our population, could benefit persons on the whole. You know an important part of human health and disease is trying to identify really what is causing the issue and because of the environment that we are living in globally and even locally we are many times affected by microorganisms and these organisms can cause infections they can cause diseases but because of the nature and the different variety of infection um, elements like bacteria viruses parasites fungi important um, to note is that these things got to be diagnosed so i want to talk to you a little bit briefly about bacterial infections when people say they've got a bacterial infection uh, like for example a wound infected a vaginal tract infected probably a urinary tract which is called a uti many times the causative organism could be a bacteria but here's the thing today that is very important just like how each one of us belongs to families belong to families with our own unique individuality within our families just like that you have microorganisms that are broken up into large groups like kingdom phylum class order family genus and species and what happens just like that similarly to you've got antibiotics for bacteria you've got anti parasitic drugs for parasites you've got antiviral you've got antifungal so it's important that we um, find out what is the pathogenic organism but i want to show you a bacteria here today um, um that is quite interesting we see it quite often i see it quite often in the lab but i wanted to bring it to our our, our patients today to let you know how important it is to use um the proper antibiotics and how to submit yourself to a test called the culture and sensitivity culture is where we inoculate the specimen the urine the swab the uh the, the sputum onto an agar plate and we incubate it that here is an organism called Escherichia coli, E. coli. But I want to show you now something called a sensitivity. These organisms, this green color here, is an organism called Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Two different patients. These are antibiotic discs that have been added to these sensitivity plates to identify which antibiotic can be used to treat the infection however this is pseudomonas from one patient this is pseudomonas from another patient what you think i'm seeing here these two patients with pseudomonas aeruginosa are not having the same antibiotic panel that is sensitive one patient is sensitive to piperacillin and tazobactam the other one is resistant one is sensitive one is resistant to augmenting the other one is sensitive why i'm sharing that with you is for you to appreciate that even though the organism might be the same there may not be a likelihood that the same antibiotic can be used by the same patient all the time or even by different patients so it's important that you do a microculture and sensitivity test where the organism is going to be cultured and when it is cultured we set up what is called a sensitivity panel where we expose the bacteria to antibiotics and fortunately for our demonstration this morning we've got two pseudomonas organisms I, well pseudomonas aeruginosa identified in two different patients and the panels the antibiotic panels are different this i think is quite interesting for us to share with you in the community as patients so that you could ensure that your clinicians are also um, have reviewed you and requested the culture and sensitivity test not just give you antibiotics or you yourselves do not go and just get antibiotics ad hoc um you know which is really um poor all right you should not be doing that unless your clinician is treating the infection empirically meaning they believe that you have an infection and they have a, a kind of fail-safe antibiotic regimen to give you even without a culture and sensitivity or before the culture and sensitivity result is ready i just hope that this could help you this morning and hope that it helps to keep you safer and um, live a better healthier life 
God bless and keep well. Mr. Lochan here at Medical Scientific.